Mm. Uh, the governors of the Canadian Football League uh, voted overwhelmingly to grant a franchise to Mr. Bernard Gleiberman for the city of Shreveport. Bernie and Lonnie Gleiberman are gone from Ottawa, but hardly forgotten, and they will be back as the owners of the Shreveport Pirates. Maybe it's not quite as simple as this, but basically, the Gleibermans get an expansion team by settling their debts in Ottawa. We'll go to Shreveport a bit later and talk to Commissioner Larry Smith, but first comes the president of the Pirates, Lonnie Gleiberman. Lonnie, I've read uh, your biography extensively and that of your father, Bernie, and neither of you was born in Shreveport, Louisiana. Why Shreveport if it couldn't work in Ottawa? Well, I think we think Shreveport's a great market, great opportunity, and uh, I think Ottawa's in a great shape now with good local owners, Bruce Firestone. I think if anyone can turn around, I think he's got the best ability to do it. Shreveport's a great market. It's got a great football community here, and uh, we're looking forward to a great time in 94. What are you going to do differently to make this team succeed where the Rough Riders did not under your ownership? I think basically, you know, we have a good opportunity here. We have a much stronger lease agreement down here. It's a, the cost of living down here is about half. I mean, just to give you an example, uh, I lived in a facility for about $1,700 a month. Here I can live in the same kind of a place for about 500 bucks. So the cost of living is tremendously different. Our expenses are much lower, and we look forward to a great time down here in Shreveport. Dexter Manley is going to play for you? Uh, if the coaches are happy with it, he'll be playing down here. He looks forward to it. He's going to have a great year, Dave. I think you guys are going to be excited to see him come back to Canada because uh, we're looking forward to using a 4-3 defense, and uh, I think Dexter's going to have a great year. Now, Lonnie, bear with me. What does it matter what the coaches think? Uh, it matters a lot. I think, you know, you know, last year was a situation where we lost a little confidence in the coaches. We made some mistakes. They made mistakes. But, Dave, you got to be honest. You don't think that we were 1-7 because of the ownership. You do take uh, Dexter and four other players from the Ottawa roster. H how were those players uh, determined? Uh, basically, J.I. Albrecht went through it and decided who he thought were the guys that fit in best. And when we say fit in best, is we wanted to take players that did not hurt the Ottawa club, but players that geographically came from this area. Dexter's family is in Houston, Wayne Walker's from uh, East Texas, Terrence Jones, Joe Miro, and Greg Stuman are all natives of Louisiana. So we took five players that had a geographical relationship to Shreveport, we did not simply go after Ottawa's best players because those guys, like Tom Burgess and Angelo Stimes, are the name players, and it's important to keep the Ottawa team strong. When you hear it said that uh, Shreveport was the price the CFL had to pay to keep Ottawa and get uh, Ottawa into, uh, into new hands, uh, does it bother you? Yeah, I don't care what people say, Dave. I mean, I invested in Chrysler when it was bankrupt. A lot of people made fun of me. But, hey, today Chrysler is one of the leading auto companies. It's in great shape, and the CFL is in great shape now, too. And, hey, we're in Shreveport. I don't care what anybody in Canada thinks. We're looking forward to come back there and beat the Canadian teams. Oh, maybe you don't care uh, if Ottawa fans come out and want to see you beaten, right? Hey, as long as they fill up that stadium, we'll all be very happy in the CFL. Hey, if all the teams sell out this year, they can all hate me. I don't care. I'm just looking forward to a great season. 1994, mark my words, will be the best year in the Canadian Football League in a long, long time. Your stadium uh, is uh, the home of the Pool and Weed Eater Bowl, I understand it? That's correct. Does, it, uh, does the Canadian Football League uh, field fit into it? They're reconstructing that. They'll be starting March 1st, and they'll have it ready for uh, the opening of exhibition season. And how many seats uh, can you sell? How many seats can we sell? We look forward to selling that place out for the opening game we take on the Las Vegas Posse uh, down here in Shreveport. I think it's July 14th. And you have uh, realistic expectations of doing that. How many would you be happy with? Uh, we'd be happy with anything over 30, but we expect to have a sellout for the first game. We're projecting right now we have over 7,000 season tickets sold. We have an open office. We have no phone number. That's just from people sending in commitments on their own to the community. So we're looking forward to having a, a tremendous year here. Dave, this is football country in Louisiana. They love football. We got East Texas. We got Arkansas. They're all buying tickets. It's going to be a great time down here in Louisiana. You got to come down. You're going to have a great time watching the Shreveport Pirates take on the rest of the teams in the CFL. Great sales pitch, Lonnie. Thank you very much. You're welcome, Dave.